All right, guys, I think I'm uh, about done buying rods for the winter, so I'll get to show you what I have for 2014. First, I'm going to start with like stuff I don't use very much, and um, just cheaper end, or more end stuff. First, um, here's a 7-foot medium-action Berkeley cherry wood rod with an older Bass Pro Shocks Extreme Reel. Um, I'll use this for like crankbaits and stuff. I don't really use it that much. Next, here's a Gander Mountain or Guides here or GSX Select um, rod. This is seven foot medium heavy. And this is probably um, fast action. And on this, I have a Shimano Bantam Corrado CU200. And I haven't really used this one much either. Um, but this reel spins for a long time. So, well, can't really see right here, but. Next we have a, a Bass Pro Shops Crank and Stick, this is 7 foot medium action. And on this we have a first generation Abu Garcia Aura SX. And I haven't really used this either, um, but I plan on using a lot of these more this year. This one is the rod I learned how to use a bait caster with, but not this reel. Um, but first I had this rod with uh, that, the best Pro Shops Extreme. But this is a 6'6 six six medium action Falcon graphite rod. Um, and on here I have a GSX Tournament Pro. And um, yeah, I just haven't really used this reel at all. Here's my only spinning rod. It's a Gander Mountain Vortex with a um, Lose Speeds or Laser Speed Spin LS200. Um, I got this reel in a contest on a Facebook page actually, and this rod I got on sale for 15 bucks. But I really don't like it that much. It's the tip is way too flexible for how I like it. But um. Now I can figure out something to really for this this year. Um, now this is the stuff that I really use a lot and I really like it. It's my higher end stuff. Um, to start off, we have a um, GSX Tournament 7.6 Heavy Action. And this is my frog rod. I really like this. It's not too sensitive. I was originally planning on using this rod for like flipping and stuff, but it just wasn't sensitive enough as for um, how I wanted my rod to be for that. And um, on this, I have a Daiwa Exceller, um, six three to one gear ratio, and this rod is awesome for throwing frogs. I just love it. And this rod retails for about a hundred bucks. And um, this is an Abu Garcia Veritas 7.6 medium heavy. And um, I used this one a lot last year. Actually, this is the only one I actually have any experience with out of the last four I have. But um, this I love these rods. Um, never really had any problems with breaking it except the ones. Um, I broke the tip off like an inch and that was my fault but I just had a new tip put on by DH Custom Rods on Lake Minnetonka and um, never used this reel just picked up this winter it's um, a first generation Abu Garcia Revo S and a 6 4 1 gear ratio but I think this rod will either be like a buzzbait rod or just um, spinner baits or just stuff that you don't have to have a whole lot of sensitivity because I don't really know how sensitive it's going to be with that new tip. So, yeah. And 
Next is a 13 fishing omen black. And this is a seven foot one medium heavy. I've used this rod once and I caught one fish on it. I figured it, I thought it was pretty sensitive and everything. Um, probably just about the same as the Veritas. The only thing I didn't like about this rod was the real seat. Because after a while I hold my rods like this and my ring finger gets pretty sore after a while of holding this. And um, I haven't used this reel either but I have another one of them. And it's just an awesome reel. It's the second generation Abu Garcia Revo SX. And this one's a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. Um, I'll probably use this rod for light jigs or um, just flipping docks with like Texas rigs and stuff. Um, next is a Field and Stream Tech Spec Elite and a 7 foot 6 extra heavy extra fast. Again, haven't used this rod. Um, it's really light, has micro guides, really small. Um, one thing I noticed that was really different about this rod than any others I've ever had before is it has a a double reel seat. It has the thing that holds the reel down, um, then it has this extra hood to lock that down in place so it doesn't come loose when you're fishing. Um, yeah, I really like this rod. It was like $80 at Dick's Sporting Goods, and I bought a warranty on it because I've never used the Field and Stream rods before. But really uh, interested in trying this rod out this spring. And on this I have a first generation uh, Abu Garcia Revo SX. Um, never used it yet. I got a lot of new stuff over the winter. But this is um this will be my I think it's gonna be my flipping rod because it's the extra fast and it's a heavy rod um and it's just really light. I like it. Next is my swim bait rod. This is a St. Croix Legend Tournament Bass Series swim bait rod. It's a 7 foot 9 heavy power for um, 1 to 4 ounce baits. Um, just picked this up off of some guy from Bass Resource. And uh, I have a Shimano Cardiff 300A on this. And I'm just getting into throwing swim baits this year now. Really anxious to throw some of these things because I bought a, quite a few of them. So. Not much to say about this because I have no experience with it. And lastly is my newest rod. I picked this up probably three weeks ago. On the sale at Gander Mountain. This is a Abu Garcia Veracity. Um, this is a 7 foot 6 medium heavy action. Uh, or medium heavy power fast action. Um, this rod was really light. I'd probably say it's a little bit lighter than Veritas and it has the micro guide. Or I wouldn't really call it micro guides. Um, compared to the Veritas they're a little bit smaller but they're not as small as the Field and Streams micro guides. So I'd, they're like a, somewhere in between. So this gives you guys some bit of an idea. And on this one I have a second generation Abu Garcia Revo SX. Um, this is a 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. Bought this one from Tackle Warehouse um, last year on the Christmas sale. Um, I installed bokeh bearings on this reel, which are just amazing. Uh, eventually, I'm going to try to put them in all my Revos, but they're just awesome. They increase your casting distance by quite noticeably. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested in uh, trying this rod out because if I like the Veritas, I can't even imagine what this is going to be like. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it here, but I'm going to be putting uh, a few videos of my tackle and stuff on the next coming weeks, and just be watching out for that, and... I like to cover all my rods with these rod socks just to protect them from 
anything that could happen to them just because like everyone knows not everyone has the money to replace things when they break especially when they're 100 to 200 dollar rods and to protect my reels i have these tackle warehouse reel covers so definitely a good investment to protect your stuff so thanks for watching guys